Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 11th, and today was a beautiful day outside, absolutely gorgeous, I would take this weather all year, forever, it was just amazing how nice it was, so got up, had a handful of things to do, kind of moved some vehicles around, every once in a while I kind of just start, just kind of, I've got multiple trailers and multiple vehicles, and they kind of end up in places I don't really want them as I'm jockeying them to take other trailers and other vehicles away and that kind of thing and ended up besides today was a day to play um, basically um, find your seat again so I went and moved a bunch of stuff back around kind of put them where I wanted everything and that'll last for a week or so until I end up having to move stuff in the process because some of the things like the one trailer is behind the one vehicle and so on and so forth and whatnot but that right there surprisingly takes a lot longer than you think because as the moment right now I only have one vehicle that can actually tow a trailer so what happens is I have to move it, unhook it, go grab the trailer, move that trailer, go unhook it, go back and move the other trailer and it's just a lot of that type of junk around where if I would have had a couple extra vehicles that you know had tow hitches on or whatever would have made it a lot faster but got it all done at least with that so went ahead and caught up on a couple YouTube videos I hadn't been watching lately um, glad to have that. I don't know. Just every once in a while, I kind of just fall off and don't watch as much stuff. I try and get caught back up. Answer a bunch of emails. Um, deal with a bunch of crap on Craigslist and that. Um, just little stuff that you kind of you find yourself putting off. Well, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. And then eventually, you realize you've done that five times. You got to get caught up on it all. So got that all caught up. Um, headed out for my run today. Uh, just I was still kind of recovering from my bike ride. It's amazing how. Um, much of my glutes and stuff still hurt and that and just my butt cheeks hurt just it's amazing like the way the seat sets um, the bike's not really it's more of just a lazy cruising bike and I was kind of pumping pretty hard that whole trip um, one trying to stay ahead of my buddy or stay up with my buddy I guess he could have beat me if he wanted to on his on his you know faster bike but as well as deals that I just kind of wanted to not have him bitching and whining about how bad he rides with another guy every once in a while and complains of how he's the laziest, slowest, no good rider, and yada yada. So I was definitely, for my first ride with my buddy, I've known him forever. We've run together, we've done all kind of stuff, ride dirt bikes all together. Never actually pedaled a bike next to him kind of thing. So it's one of those things I wanted to see how, I wanted to kind of put in a decent showing there on that. And I turned out, I think it was 15, 16 mile an hour, something like that average. Which is not too damn bad when you stop and think about the fact that it was my longest ride of the year so far like uh, by it's probably four times the length of any ride i've had before this year so definitely um kind of glad to have that over and done with and stuff i was really wanting to turn around about halfway out maybe a little bit more than halfway oh yeah, sorry about that a lot i really really wanted to just turn around and head back and i kind of expressed that opinion a couple times to him and then i decided you know what hell with it i'm already here i might as well go ahead and just bust this thing out and finish it out and I came back a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, there's some really gross hills right outside his house. And they sucked, especially at the end there. He did kind of pull away from those hills. At the end, the last two hills from the house, he pulled ahead of me. He wasn't, I don't know, a minute at most ahead of me, which isn't too damn bad, considering the fact that my bike's not really designed to climb hills. So a couple times looked the hill, and I swear it would been easier to get off and push. Um, since my recumbent, your legs out in front of you and stuff, it's a lot different than a regular bike. You can't stand up and get extra power out of it, which does definitely suck there. Um, well, I was still doing the one point, I was with him and stuff, and I had my watch set up, not really for bike riding, so I couldn't see my exact speed. It was only average speeds, all it's showing me. And I asked him, I said, I know I'm going faster. I thought I was doing about six, seven mile an hour or whatever, but I swore I'd get off and like walk the bike up the hill faster, and he said I was doing nine then. So that was kind of a cool feeling. Um, well, I was just kind of... That right there, that ride really kicked my butt. Uh, actually, kicked my butt's butt. So, super sore there, but just kind of recovering on it. The run went really good. I decided to go run some timber. Um, there's some crazy single trail stuff. And the trail doesn't go very far, and then it'll just die off. And it kind of comes into like an actual deer trail. So, I was running those. And my legs are all cut up and all that kind of stuff. I'm just covered in thicker burrs and stuff. And that right there was really fun. Handful of time, you literally you can't um, you you can't run. You're power hiking at best, and then you can get up the hill a little bit. You can run uh, when there's a regular trail. Bruce does great. When we're free running through the timber, he's always just shooting around. He's so excited, just running back and forth, back and forth. And he ends up on the wrong side of the trees and stuff. So I got to really shorten his leash down a lot. And then he ends up you know on my feet, kind of hanging a lot. And I have tripping and stuff and whatnot. Luckily, didn't fall or nothing, but just had a really kind of a rough run. 
only knocked out like a 5k is all I did, but that 5k kicked my ass. Like I've really been wanting to talk to the people that own the property out there and go, hey, what would it take to set up an actual like trail run out here? Like I think I would have a lot of fun people showing up. And it's one of those things where some of the trails I'd have them running on, there wouldn't be passing there. I mean, you'd have to really be a brave, you know, sucker to go out through the thick brush to try and pass somebody. So it'd have to be a lot of communication with other runners and walkers. If somebody's coming behind you, kind of, you know, holler up and they'll step out of the way for you. Oh, sorry. But other than that, um, just kind of had just a good time today. Just absolutely, except for how sore my butt is and that, and my that right there, the day was a great day. So. I went ahead and got the yard mode, which is never good on my um, my legs and stuff. That stam, real style push mower, that thing is a workout like crazy. And I've let my yard get a little too tall, so I had to mow it twice. Um, once north and south and once east and west to pick up all the grass. Because it just kind of wants to push itself down, and that mower is not good at all if you get past you know height. I should have mowed it probably four days ago with that mower. So I went ahead and mowed the whole yard, and just it's amazing how long that takes. Um, I have been using the rider though for like the rental house and the other well, actually the, both other lots i've got i've been using the rider on it and that just oh man that saves me probably two hours i bet it probably saves me two hours in the process so that's definitely worth it and i've decided i'm not trying to show off and you know prove anything to anybody with that little push mower on those giant empty lots and the rental houses and that kind of stuff's not worth it so that's all i've got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day Thanks for watching.